In this video, we're going over wedges and how they work. And then we'll be going over a short example problem. And if you find this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe. So how you solve problems with wedges is you separate each component of the problem into its individual pieces. And then you draw its free body diagrams and draw all the friction forces, normal forces, and external forces on those free body diagrams. And then you solve for the unknowns. So what we're going to do in this problem is do exactly that. We're going to split it up into the free body diagram of the cylinder and this wedge. And what we need to do in this example problem is find out the compression of the spring that is needed in order to keep this um, wedge in equilibrium, keep it from moving. So we're going to draw the free body diagram of the cylinder right here. And we know that the, fric or the uh, force of the spring, we'll call it S of S, is pushing down with a force of 15 kilonewtons per meter multiplied by the compression and we'll call that compression s so 15 s and then it's being pushed up with a normal force from the wedge we will call this normal force a b because it is between a and b so a b and then we have our wedge here and it will also have that same normal force just pushing in the opposite direction. So we'll call it NAB again, and then we'll have the normal force on this side between the ground, we'll call it C, and then the wedge, so we'll call this normal force NAC. And then we have this external force of 250 newtons pushing up from there. But we have our um, spring constant of 15 kilonewtons per meter in kilonewtons. So one of these two needs to change into kilonewtons or newtons so we can have them in the same units. And we'll change this one into kilonewtons. So this one is 0 0.25 kilonewtons, which is that force right there. And then we are going to have our friction forces from both between the cylinder and the wedge and the wedge and the ground. So the direction of those wet, um, friction forces is important to know. And since we have this um, external force pushing on it, something has to be resisting its direction in this direction. And that is going to be those friction forces. So we have our friction force here. It is going to be um, well, all friction forces um, are the coefficient of static friction multiplied by the normal force. And we are given that the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.35. So this will be 0 0.35 multiplied by this normal force, NAC. And likewise, we have our friction force here, 0 0.35 NA. B. So now that we have our free body diagrams, we can use equilibrium equations to solve for our unknowns. And in this case, we have S, NAB, NAC, and NAC as unknowns. And we need to solve for S. So if we do the sum of the forces in the y direction for the cylinder, we get that, that is equal to zero because it is in equilibrium and we have NAB pushing up and minus 15S from the spring and that's going to end up being the NAB equals 15S. So now we can sum forces on our wedge and let's start with the sum of the forces in the y direction again and we didn't draw it but this is our x direction and that's our y direction once again this is going to be equal to zero because it is we need it to be in equilibrium um, we have nab pushing down so minus nab 
and later on we will replace NAB with 15S. Um, other than that we only have these two forces pushing in the y direction. We have NAC in the positive y direction but only a component of it in the y direction. It is going to be 10 degrees off the, hor off the vertical and so its component in the y direction is going to be the cosine of 10 degrees. And then we have our friction force here. It is going to also, or this, it is going to be in the negative y direction, so 0 0.35 NAC. And then its component in the y direction is going to be the sine of 10 degrees. And then solving this out, we end up solving it out and plugging in 15s for NAB, we get that um, NAC is equal to um, 16.223s. Now for we need another equation to be able to solve for um, these two unknowns. And so if we sum forces in the x direction, we can get that other equation. So it's also going to be equal to zero because it is an equilibrium. We have our 0 0.25 kilonewtons here in the positive x direction. We have our 0 0.35 NAB in the negative x direction, and that is our friction force between the cylinder and the wedge and then we have that the um, NAC has a component in the negative x direction so it's NAC sine of 10 degrees and then the friction force also has a component in the negative x direction it will be 0 0.35 NAC cosine of 10 degrees and then we can substitute 15S for NAB and then 16.233S for NAC and we can solve for S and we get that S equals 0 0.0183 meters because we were dealing with this kilonewton per meters and so we got this in meters and so that also equals 18.3 millimeters. So that is how much the spring needs to be compressed in order for this system to stay in equilibrium. So there's a simple example using wedges. If you found this helpful hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions leave them down in the comments. Also down in the comment or down in the description, I've got the um, steps written out for how to analyze problems with wedges. Also down in the description, I've got some links to Amazon and Teespring where you can buy some merch from Student Engineering, and buying that helps me out a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer with Student Engineering. My goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.